Prism Live Studio is a tool used by streamers of all skill levels. Some of them are experts and some are beginners. Some streamers set their quality settings with professional precision, while others suffer from poor live stream quality or interrupted streams due to improper settings. To prevent this, the Prism application provides default settings. However, our goal is to help all streamers broadcast like professionals. That's why we want to provide a variety of guides to help streamers get the best streaming experience possible. In today's video, we've taken these issues into consideration and put together a tutorial on how to set more appropriate streaming quality settings in your mobile app. I hope you find it helpful after watching. For mobile applications, there are performance differences between different devices, different types of network environments, and current state of the device. Many factors impact live streaming. With all these variables, it's very important to use the right settings to ensure a smooth live stream. The Prism application provides many options for users to experience different quality broadcasts. Live streaming quality settings are made on the Live Ready screen in the Prism app, where you will see a yellow Go Live button. For some users, this could be confused with the main settings menu, but this isn't where the quality options are. Click the resolution text on the Live Ready screen to open the Stream Quality tab. You should see a layer with five settings, resolution, video quality, bit rate, frame rate, and keyframe interval. There are these options where you can adjust and create your optimal live broadcast. So let's take a look in detail for each setting. The resolution can be selected from 360, 480, 720, and 1080 pixels. If you choose 1080 pixels, you'll get a better video quality, but you'll need a stable network. And considering that your viewers will be viewing their cell phones to watch your broadcast, 720 pixels will be fine too. If your network is unstable, try toggling between 480 and 360 pixels to find the best resolution. Video quality is a setting that controls how the Prism application creates the streamed video. If your network is not completely stable and you don't have enough bandwidth, choose default, adaptive. When adaptive is selected, the Prism application creates streaming video fragments at the highest bit rate your network bandwidth will allow. The idea is to help stabilize streaming in unstable network conditions. If you choose fixed in a network situation where you do not have a stable network, remember that your viewers will see the buffering. The next thing we will have a look at is the bitrate. In streaming, bitrate refers to the amount of data that is takes between one second of a video. If you set a value of 4,000 kilobits per second in Prism app, it means that your stream will use 0.5 megabits to create a one second video. Typically, you would choose 6,000 kilobits per second for a 1080 pixel streaming and 4,000 kilobits per second for a 720 pixel streaming. By default, Prism automatically set a recommended value for the bit rate based on the resolution. It's probably most useful to use the value that is automatically set for your application. If you find your network is unstable, try using a slightly lower bit rate. Frame rate refers to the number of frames used to create one second of a video. It's no secret that a video is made up of rapid succession of images. This is why 30 frames per second is often used, but if your device is not performing well, it's recommended to change the frame rate to 24 or 15 frames per second. This will help you create a stable stream. The key frame interval is the interval between the compressed frames that make up the video and the original uncompressed frame. In simple terms, if you choose two seconds, you're saying that you want to use one original frame out of the dozens of frames that make up the two second video. The major live platforms recommends two seconds. So in general, you'll want to stick with the Prism application's default of two seconds. Today, we learned about quality settings. These settings can help make your mobile stream more reliable. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We'll be back with more guides for you. Until next time, thank you and see you. Bye.